Hey, this is uh, my review on my graph supplies. I got all my paint and my markers and everything, so I'm gonna go through it. Um, well, I got 11 cans of Montana Gold. I got Shock Brown Light, fluore Fluorescent Orange, Power Orange, Shock Red, Flamingo, Lilac, um, Window, Blue Magic, Fluorescent Flame Blue, Lime, Acid Green, and Opal Green. So then I got this giant 600 milliliter old, old, old Krylon can. It's black. I got it for my grandpa. He's cool. Um, then I got all my uh, Montana Hardcore. I got six cans. Got Chrome, Medium, Yellow, Magenta, Lilac. Uh, I think that's. Let's see, one second, sorry. Medium blue, ultramarine, and guacamole. Then over here I got like all my inks and paints. I got like this red ink mixture, and I'll show you what it is. And then I got a brown paint, a purple. Um, this is uh, like all the tea juice, stuff in the tea juice, because it's good for dyes. And then I got, that's the red ink, but thin down with some pen ink. All my thinners, um, more tea juice stuff, and then I got like this white paint mixed with my purple ink. It's pretty good. Black ink. All my little mixtures, mostly like um, metallic colors, and there's an ink right there, and this is a nice green I made. And this is another white paint ink mixture. It's pretty good and pretty dope. I got some ghetto crank, some good ink that I just made, some pretty good ink, it's pretty thick. And then I got some ink in the Sumi cartridge thing. And for the homemade markers and stuff like that, I got all my two-way glue sticks. Damn the phone. Um, so yeah. Um, I got the... Hang on one second. Okay, never mind. Um, so, sorry. Got all my Sharpie paints. These are all modified nibs. And, uh, I don't know what the fuck. Okay, so, uh, then the black is filled with ghetto crank. It works pretty nice. And I've got an empty two way glue stick. And then I got a tea juice filled with ink. Tea juice, empties, and then red ink. This, what do you call it? This Zype got. Zype is right. Uh, I hate the guy, but he's right. These are nice window markers. I recommend them. They're called window window writers. Yeah, they're pretty nice. And I got a Montana marker filled with ink. An El Marco. These are like the old school tagging markers. Some modified nibs on markers. A uh, Mean Streak. A crink case 60 with a homemade nib. It's pretty fucked up now. Then I got a Griffin shoe polish thing. It has like a dabber in, so it's like witch's brew. Then I got this giant, like, it says adhesive remover, but I just filled it with homemade ink. Freaking huge. I got a little sketch pad. Got my uh, Pentel white filled with homemade ink, and it's crushed, so it's like pressurized normal Pentel white. Then I got my stickers, my slaps, and stuff. Little teddy bears and stuff. I like them. And I got bigger ones. And here's the stencils I use. There's that one, and then there's a little stencil. And I got all my good mops and stuff. I got a K66 filled with ink now. A K60 mixed with blue and purple. Pretty nice. And I got a K60 green. And I got like a city ink. These are nice. Um, they're a lot cheaper. And it's like a K63. And it stains a lot harder. Then I got a city ink steel tip. It's chrome. And I got this uh, city ink. Their colors suck because they're so fucking thick. That's why I don't recommend them. It, it came out like where it wouldn't even drip. So I just put some of that in it. Came out pretty nice. I'll be doing some reviews on most of this stuff. I got all the p colors of the pilots. I got a blue woodcraft, an OTR paint marker blue, and a hardcore paint marker red. Then I got all my crink or Yeah, I got crink markers, but a uni paint, gold. 
a violet K71, a bleed through red K71, and a bleed through blue K71. Then I got my black book, got my respirator, a 3M respirator, and then uh, I got all this stuff, and uh, I got my Prismas and Copics in there, and I got all my Sharpies and like random markers, and this is what I take with me when I go bombing and make some stickers and swaps and stuff. I got like all my paint markers, deco fabrics, so my decos are outside. I don't know why, but, and I got all my Zig poster mans and woodcrafts and shit like that. So, um, oh yeah, and for Zeno, for Ozzy, let me find out his YouTube name really quick. Hold on one second. Try to find this out. Zeno Mac Forty. Yeah. Ozzy. He's a cool kid. Been talking a little bit, just a tiny bit. And so, dude, this is the Switchblade. Kind of like the style. It's uh the Italian stiletto. It's nice. Uh, I could get one for you in a different color if you'd like, or you could take like this red. Starting to look like dark red, but it's a little bit lighter. It uh, has a little lock down here. Uh, you slide up and it won't work. And then we slide it down, it will work. And then you have to pull on this little back thing right here. You have to push it down. And yeah, so uh, tell me what you think. Or I can get you a butterfly knife. Um, whatever you want, it's your choice. So, um,. I'll be doing reviews on all this. Uh, shout out for Xeno Mac 40 or Ozzy. Uh, he's a cool kid. Got some cool stickers and stuff if you don't know them, but you probably should. And uh, so, comment, rate, subscribe, peace.